the stage is yours. Okay, hi everybody. Thanks for attending me. And uh, today I speak about uh, GTW Suite. Uh, what is there? For who don't know what is GTW Suite, I can tell you that GTW Suite is a web application, is a framework for publishing QGIS project as a web GI services. Hmm? Uh, in, in fact, the idea behind the, the birth of the project was uh, it, it can be summarized in these four points. First, have, an, have a, a web application for publishing QGIS project as a web GI services with a few steps in a very simple way. Hmm? Uh, two, uh, have a system for organizing uh, our web GI services inside the container, for example, cartographic groups and macro cartographic groups uh, with a, a hierarchical structure. Third, have an access control list, so an access control in front of our web GI services made by users and group of users, also them organized in, in uh, a hierarchical structure. And uh, last and four, have a framework and a web application for uh, and have a, uh, have a, a plugin system for to developing custom models and plugin uh, for to respond to the, our customers' requests. In this uh, slide, uh, as you can see, uh, I show you the architecture and the structure of a GTW Suite. GTW Suite is made by two components, GTW Client and GTW Admin. GTW Client is a, a classical WebGIS interface when you can find a, a main map, reference map, talk, uh, map widget, uh, layers, etc. And uh, it's made by JavaScript with open layer w, uh, Vue.js and it communicates with GTW Admin, that is the administration component of the GTW Suite. GTW Admin is made by Python and Django and is fully integrated thanks to PyQGS API with QGS server. In fact, GTW Admin also then uh, working as uh, administration component uh, work uh, as uh, also as OTG services uh, for WNMS, WFS, uh, other services that uh, uh, QGIS servers can uh, uh, can can make. Uh, another another role is uh, uh, is the ser API REST server for the client for to to give to the client the configuration or other other uh, type of activity, for example, for an advanced editing uh, online uh, mode. At the base, you can find a PostGIS and PostGIS database that, fr that from si one side is used as a, a administration database for GTW suite, but the other side can be used as a geo database for the geo data. But you can use uh, not only the PostGIS, you can use uh, also file system database, file system geo data. For example, Specialite, Shapefile, GeoPackage, etc. Every type of uh, geodata that QGIS server can read. Uh, the main paradigm of uh, GTW Suite is uh, a simple way for to make uh, an, a WebGIS services uh, active. In fact, it is not, it's not a necessary plugin for to do that, but, uh, but the main paradigm is uh, just get your QGIS project .qgs file or .qgz file and plug, uh, plug it inside the GTW suite to have uh, an, uh, a WebGIS services running. For to do that, uh, uh, during this uploading from uh, workflow, GTW suite inherited many aspects about uh, your QGS project. Uh, what, is, uh, what are the features that is inherited from QGIS project? The, the capabilities of OGGIS, of uh, OGG services that you set inside your QGIS project, but also the talk, team, uh, engine filter, uh, and uh, uh, layer order. So every aspect about your um, QGIS project. But sure, the map contents, so the symbology, labeling, the views, etc. GTW Suite inherits also for also the relationship between layers that you can set up inside your QGS project. So join one to n and n to n uh, relationship between layer. Uh, the consultation of the attribute future uh, is uh, made in the same in, uh, with the same structure. You can 
made inside the, your, your QGIS project. So your QGIS project forms, uh, uh, editing widget, uh, constraints, etc., are replicated inside the WebGIS client. Also, the print layout is inherited during this uh, upload workflow. In fact, also standard and uh, atlases is uh, inherited, but also the uh, plots and chart that you can make by data plot plugin, if you know, uh, thanks to the integration with this plugin uh, uh, with Q, uh, QGIS. Sorry? Okay. <laughs> White slide. Um, now I want to show more in detail uh, what is the, the rule and the, the future of the single component of a GTW suite. Uh, GTW admin, I said before, that is the administration component of uh, uh, GTW suite. In fact, uh, the main role is the published QGIS project as WebGIS services and define the access permission in front of the services. Um, Another big role is the user creation and the organization of the users and the group of users. Mm? Uh, but uh, uh, another step, another future is the management of uh, WebGI services. In, in fact, uh, uh, every expert and future can be inherited from the project uh, is taken from that. But uh, other, for example, searches uh, uh, or constraints and some filters assume on layer by users for editing activity or for visualization activity is made by uh, activate um, is made by uh, the activation of the service inside the gtw admin um, i don't know why <laughs> uh, instead the gtw client is a classic web gis web gis uh, interface uh, as you can see, you can find the main map, reference map, uh, toolbar, and uh, talk, uh, legend, uh, etc. Every feature and behavior that you can find inside the GTW admin, GTW client, sorry, is uh, inherited, is uh, controlled by GTW admin. In fact, for example, layer visibility, attribute table visibility, alphanumeric and geometric constraint, uh, granular editing capabilities, etc., are inherited and set and set inside the GTW admin. At the hand, GTW admin is uh, a GTW suite is a, an, a Django app for the developers. I think is, you, you know what is Django. Django is a framework made by Python for the, 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 the creation of web, web app and web application. And uh, so you can uh, deploy it as a standard web um, Django application, but in, in a modern way, the, the most modern way is to use Docker and Docker Compose. In this slide, I show you how to de it's possible to deploy a uh, GTW suite. Um, thanks to Docker Compose. You have, uh, in front of all, uh, you have an Nginx server that is, use, is used as a reverse proxy for GTW Suite container. That's that is in the main image of the system, and it contains the code of GTW Suite and the QGIS server code, uh, and the QGIS server app. At the base, you can find the Postgres and Postgres database that used, as I said before, as uh, database administration and uh, if you want also for geo data. On the right, you can find a Redis, uh, Redis instance that uses the from side as an internal caching system for GTW suite and the other side is can be used as message broker, as a message broker uh, if, uh, uh, if necessary, uh, for example, activate another container of GTW suite for consume uh, activity that um, it, it, for, for batch processing, for example, in, in the cases where uh, it, it, re it, it required many times for to process it. Now, if work, okay. Okay, I want to show you a, a small example how it is the, 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 base wo the base working system of GTW suite. As you can see, you can find, you can look at a, a normal uh, QGIS desktop instance uh, you, where you can make your project. And uh, after making your project, you can take uh, your QGIS project, uh, activate uh, and upload it inside uh, GTW admin interfaces. You can set up, uh, for example, 
the, the access control to the in front of your future ch services, other features and, and, uh, and settings. And after saving this uh, uploading project, you have just a, a service ready, a WebJS service ready. That is the same project and the same usually style and uh, map that we have on the QGIS desktop with only two steps. Sorry. Okay. At the end, what can I do with GTW Suite? In this slide, I summarize the, 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 what, what is the what, what can I do with GTW Suite? In fact, we can publish the WebGI services in a very simple way with a few steps. But uh, you can expose your OGC services thanks to your QGIS server, QGIS server. But with the a middle layer uh, for the access control in front of the OGC services. In fact, if you know. If you take a, stand, a standalone QGIS service, you don't have any middle layer for the access control in front of the, to the services. Um, you can make, a, 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 thanks to a hierarchical structure of the project inside the container, like micro-cartographic micro micro mm, groups and micro-cartographic micro -cartographics groups, you can create a web cartographic management system. Mm? with many projects, many users, uh, uh, every type of user. We have several level of users and role of users. Uh, you, you, you can uh, uh, select the access to different group of users. And uh, uh, thanks to a plugin uh, system of GitHub Suite, it's possible to extend the, the future of the, 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 the web app, for example, for to uh, integrate a PI CSV for, for, uh, to, to get a uh, metadata uh, service. Or um, last one uh, uh, plugin where, you are, where we are working is to the integration and to uh, have the QGIS projects in uh, future and uh, activity inside the, the GTW suite on the web. Uh, it's possible to integrate also GTW Suite with Magic Maps. And thanks to a plugin system, we have developed other types that are many are public, and many, many other uh, plugins is not public because are for our customers. But we have developed plugin for uh, uh, time animation for other type of uh, um, uh, user authentication system, for example, for LDAP Active Directory. We have developed a reporting system. Um, we have developed a specific model for the public administration, for cadastral, urban planning, uh, law, et cetera. And, uh, oh, five minutes, sorry. <laughs> and uh, this slide has grown. In this, this second part, uh, I, I, I to, too fast. Uh, I will show you what is the last future that we, uh, we, we, we have with the last two releases of GW Suite 3.7, 3.8. And I try to introduce the new future about the next three that nice releases. First of all, in these two releases, we, introdu we, we introduce um, the use of the last long term releases of QGIS desktop and servers, so the 3.3.34. And now I'll show you many, many, future, many new features, many few uh, about the last releases. For example, now it's possible to have a, a relationship between layer, for example, one to an end based on K multi with multiple, multiple K fields. Um, the widget that can you use inside your form, um, uh, from uh, QGIS desktop uh, widget uh, is replicated inside the search system of GTW Suite. Uh, thanks to our, our customer, uh, we have implemented uh, uh, external registration password recovery system. We supported now the PostGIS raster. And other type of future are, we have developed many uh, System filter for GTW admin. 
we have the, add the, the OGG API future, the hold the WFS3 uh, to the service, to OGC services available. And uh, now it's possible to set up what is the, 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 the resolution of our image of the WebGI services uh, main map. It's possible to add layers and talk uh, uh, from the, from also from the legend, also from the talk. And now uh, the editing, that is a big component, uh, the editing online of GTW Suite, uh, now is possible to activate um, uh, editing uh, capabilities for, man for many layers at the same time. Uh, we have extended uh, also the download uh, attributes. Uh, now it's possible to download the, 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 the results of the querying uh, by, uh, as a PDF. Um, it's possible for the end user of a WebGIS users uh, also um, make uh, um, his filter, uh, their filter, and uh, save it for every user session, also for the custom uh, user teams. Um, now it's possible to e editing the, the directly inside from the folder for the relationship between layer of one to one and end to M. Um, now it is possible to editing layer with multi geometry and add geometry to layer, for example, that don't have uh, the geometry component modes or only the properties. Uh, now it's possible to export the print layout as a JPG, SVG, a Geo PDF. Um, it's possible to set up a custom scale and DPI. And uh, a big new module is the, the integration between QGIS processing and GTW Suite. With the same paradigm of uh, the GTW Suite, now it's possible to take your um, .model3 file and uh, upload it inside the GTW suite for have the same, uh, um, the same processing uh, system. For the next releases, uh, our intention is uh, to, to add the possibility to, 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 to follow the table fields order inside the, um, the attribute table of, the, of a layer and uh, we are intention to extend again the editing capabilities uh, of GTW Suite. And uh, uh, the, the new developing, new, the new um, model that uh, Alessandro Pasotti are developing for the, in, the, the storage of uh, uh, username and password of PostGIS layer, layer inside the a database is uh, integrated also them inside the GTW Suite. For the future, future, <laughs> uh, this is as our intent. Uh, we are we are, we we want to make a bigger uh, refactoring of the code, in particular for GTW admin. We want to migrate to a last uh, uh, LTR LTS uh, uh, version of the Django and migrate to Open Layer 8.10. Uh, 8 Thank you for your attention.